everyone so today's video is about making a discord leveling bot using discord.py or next card and for managing the leveling things we will be using the this level library which makes it easy to manage leveling for your discord server so let's get started first of all we need to install some dependencies which will be required so pip install next card you can also install discord.py from their github repository but to keep it simple let's for now use next card <coughs> okay next is the this level library then databases for database and since we will be using sqlite for this video we will have to install aio sqlite Okay, so everything is getting installed and I think everything is installed then we have to create a very basic bot and I will fast forward the video to make it small but you should have idea of making a very basic discord bot and if you are watching this video you might already have a discord bot or you might already know how to create a discord bot so let's fast forward this okay so i created a very basic Bot using next card and if I run this bot I should see bot is ready in the terminal and if we go to discord we should see this this level bot is ready and if we type help it should respond to our command and yes it's responding so that means our bot setup is ready and now we have to configure the leveling using this level first of all we need to create a database where our leveling data will be stored so from databases import database and let's create a way uh, SQLite database so database and it will be SQLite any name dot dot db and that means our database is ready we have to connect to it so db dot connect and by this our databases is connected to the database and the path will be leveling dot db and our database is done next is we have to initialize this level using this db so for that we have to import from this level import init this level and we have to init this level using bot then this database here and the driver will be databases so that means we are initializing this level using this part this database and the driver will be databases because we are using databases so if we restart the bot and the bot connects you can see we have now a leveling dot db and we cannot see what is inside it for that we have to install some applications i already have so i will show you how that looks but first of all let's focus on basic things so now when the database is configured we need to store information of a member like how many xp he had and the other thing so for that we need to import another function 
so from disk level import not actually import utils import update xp so we will update xp whenever someone sends a message so update await update xp and it will take the bot the member id which will be message dot author dot id and then the guild id which will be message message dot guild dot id id like this and then how many xp we want to give the user like it can be amount equal to that's a 5 xp so whenever someone sends a message we want to give him 5 xp and now if i restart the bot and when the bot is ready and if i type something like hello it will give me 5 xp now you might want to know that uh, giving xp is not enough we need to see how many xp he have or i have so for that we need some commands and next code have some pre-configured commands but you can also create your own we will see that pre-configured commands for next code so we need to load extension which will be this level dot next card so this this level dot next card is especially for next card if you are using discord dot py you will have to load the discord here so since we are using next card we will use next card and if i again run the bot and the bot is ready if i type help you will see we have four commands here which is coming from leveling and if i type rank it will show that i have 15 xp because i sent one two and three messages so three into five equal 15 and i am on level one when my xp goes more than 32 i will reach level two and so on so let's me let me send some more messages like hello hi how are you and what's up maybe and if i type rank again you can see i have gone to level 2 now my xp is 40 and now i need 243 xp to go to level 3 so as our level goes up it becomes harder for us to go to next level that's how actually this level is made so next is we can also see leaderboard if you see leaderboard you can see i have 45 xp and the bot itself has 15 xp why is that because when you are giving xp we are not a checking if the user is a bot or not so if message dot author dot bot actually when the message author is bot we need to return because we don't want to give a bot xp and we need to restart again and let's delete this one because this contains information about the bot so we don't need that and let's start the bot again it will again configure a database and if we now go to leaderboard all our data should be deleted because we deleted that file so in actual production you might not want to delete that now you can see i have only 5 xp and if you see rank since this is also a message i got another 5 xp which is which now is 10 and we have some other commands if we see help which you can see set busy and reset busy set busy used to sense the background of this card and reset busy makes it default so let's go to google and search for some cool images so let's say nature images 
so there's some good images uh, let's take any of them maybe this one we want this to be our card image and we can just copy image link from here or we can save this image on desktop anywhere okay let's just save it on desktop okay so we can now upload it for uploading let's create another channel uploads we will upload all the files here and from desktop we can upload it here when an image is uploaded we can right click and copy the link and now if I go to testing and say set PC and then paste that link here you can see background image has been updated now if I type rank when on my rank card processes it we can see that image as our background so this is actually very cool and we can also reset BZ and if I type rank again you can see my rank card has been set to default we can now again run this command to set this so you can use this method to use any images so that's actually the core features next will be how you can make your own commands so if you don't want to use the default commands which comes from this level you can create your own commands so I think this video is getting very long and I don't want to make it very long if you want to see how you can create your own commands like maybe you want to create a unique card not this this level default you can also do that I will make a separate video about that if you are excited about it you can comment it on the comment box so I know that you want it and I will make it so thank you so much for watching and uh, there is a bonus tip though if you want to use slash commands you can just come over here and say slash and that makes the, all the commands slash commands now if I rerun the bot the bot is ready now if I type slash and uh, rank okay the slash commands take some time to load I think rank okay it's not actually loading maybe it takes some time but it should definitely load because uh, we loaded the slash extension and uh, let's see it in a different channel if it shows yeah yeah it, it has been loaded so now if I come over here you can see all the command has been loaded as slash commands if I now type slash rank and do this you can see the slash commands also working and leaderboard you can see leaderboard and if I type this so you can see all the commands has been converted to slash command so you don't have to worry about message content intent and since we loaded the slash commands the default prefix command should now be gone they are not they are no more if you want both you can also do that like copy this paste it but without slash so if you now run this bot we should have the default commands and also the slash commands so that's it actually thank you so much for watching <coughs> comment if you want to see more videos like this and make sure to subscribe thank you so much